Hey guys, it's me, Arthur, and you're watching How to Draw Creepy Creatures. Now, if you watched my last video, you'll know that I'm just trying to get through some uh, last-minute requests before the end of the month where I switch over to the African theme. So, uh, I got a another request from Julian Martinez, along with a few other subscribers who wanted me to draw Dogman. Now, most of you probably know what that is, but if you don't, that's okay. I'll walk you through it. Uh, Dogman is a character that's very similar to like a werewolf or lycan-like being that uh, is very well known in the United States. The first descriptions of it come from Michigan in 1887 when it was spotted by lumberjacks. However, similar creatures have existed in Native American folklore long before Europeans ever came into the country. It's basically described very much like a werewolf, lower legs like a dog, chest and torso like a man, arms of a man, and head of a dog. Very simple design. In fact, it's it's uh, basically the model that you find in a lot of other countries when it comes to uh, werewolf-like creatures. Even uh, deities sometimes look like that, like Anubis. It's kind of a very common idea. And it's found in a number of different cultures. In fact, it's even though the moniker of dog man isn't used all the time, there are creatures that are essentially the same thing that are seen in other places besides Michigan and Wisconsin, where the term is most commonly used, such as in uh, Louisiana and surrounding southern states. They have, they have even sightings today of loop-guru or werewolves, which their descriptions look very similar. Uh, actually, there have been a there have been some scientists who have come up with the theory that Dogman can be explained by uh, bipedal canids such as red wolves, coyotes, and foxes walking on their hind legs. Even though this behavior isn't very typical, it's thought that this might be a subspecies that has evolved the ability to do so, thus tricking people into thinking that they're humanoid. There isn't a lot of evidence to support this theory because no... Uh, fox or coyote or wolf has ever been caught with these specialty with the special muscles that will require them to walk bipedally also just because you saw a dog or dog-like animal walking on its hind legs doesn't mean you're going to hallucinate that as a humanoid chest and arm it doesn't really make a lot of sense so uh i i think it's an interesting theory i just don't think it really explains the sightings but uh Regardless of what you think, whether or not this is a real animal or not, let's get into it. Basic skeletal structure, let's have muscle now. Let's erase some of this and add the fine details. Let's start with the face.
Okay, let's uh, shade it a little bit now. You have just drawn the dog man. I wonder if he's friends with goat man. Like they just hang out, have a drink every once in a while. <laughs> All right. Uh, like, share, and subscribe, you guys. Uh, if you have any suggestions for creatures you want me to draw, just leave in the comments. I will be sure to get back to you. Uh, also, the link to my Patreon page and my email are in the description. And if anybody anybody who finished a lesson on the show and like to show off your artwork, you just send it to me. And with your permission, I'll show off and show you your name so everybody knows that you did it. Thanks so much for watching, you guys, and goodbye.